Last March, I went to um, South Lake Hospital because I thought I just have like a common flu. And yeah, apparently it's, it's not. Within two hours, I'm having a really hard time talking because there's already shortness of breath. I can't even walk already and even standing up, it's, it's really challenging. I just automatically thought of my kids because I was, I was so scared. From a staff perspective, coming in to work during COVID initially was quite nerve-wracking. I think there was a lot of questions and how it would be, how to treat COVID, and that left us in a bit of a whirlwind. I know that I was surrounded with dozens of doctors at South Lake, so I know that I'm in good hands. And it's just, I just, I fought for love and for fate, for the fate of the doctors and nurses, like all the therapists that I'm surrounded with them. So I know that they will, they will do their best to take care of me. Donor support was extremely helpful in our day-to-day -day managing COVID-19. We had support in the form of ventilators and equipment, as well as personal protective equipment, including masks and gloves and gowns. I think it was really helpful to know that the community had our back and supported us, and even little things like snacks or little gifts that we got from the community was helpful in keeping our spirits up and helping us get through this period. When I went out of out of the hospital and everyone is cheering for me made me realize that I'm really alive. This year has been quite challenging and unprecedented, but because of donor support behind our masks, we're all smiling. On November 15th, National Philanthropy Day, all of us at South Lake will be celebrating you. Thank you for keeping us strong. Because of donors like you, I was able to celebrate my 40th birthday. Because of donors like you, I can still see my family my sisters, my mom. Because of donors like you, I'm alive.